In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use LUT filter presets in Filmora. So these are going to be presets that are built into Filmora. Everyone should have these. You don't have to download these anywhere. These are going to be built into Filmora. All right. So as you can see here, I have video on the timeline. Nothing too crazy here. Uh, just a very simple video. So I'm going to double click on this video so I can access the color uh, settings. So go ahead and switch over to color. All right. So once you go to color here, you're going to see that there is a bunch of options here. So you want to stay under basic and underneath presets, you're going to see that we have an option that's called LUT. OK, now this could be turned off like this. Go ahead and make sure you turn it on, flip it on like this, and you can expand it by clicking this little arrow here. So if you click that arrow, it's going to expand uh, here now. Uh, right here, you're going to see that we have uh, LUT presets here, right? This is going to be the option where we have our built in LUT presets. So this is not a lot of options, but it covers all types of uh, uh, LUT that you might be looking for, right? All types of color correction here. You can see that we have warm film, Walking Dead, Star Wars. Obviously, I'm applying this to a black and white video, so you're not going to get the full um, uh, full effect here, right? You also have some of this here. You have a reporter, gravity, and it's just a lot of really cool filters you can use here. I'm going to go ahead and select Cyberpunk 2. Once you select uh, a LUT preset here, you're going to be able to change the strength of it, right? You might like how a LUT preset looks, but it might be a little too strong for your video, depending on the lighting and saturation and things like that. So you're going to be able to adjust the strength of the LUT preset here by adjusting this over here, right? As I adjust this, obviously zero is going to be, it's going to look like you don't have anything. 100% is 100% of what that looks like. Now there's another option here, which is called protect skin tones. Okay. Now, if you have, you know, someone's skin in here, let me actually show you a good example here. I'm going to go over to the stock media. I'm going to switch over to, um, how uh, to, uh, pixels here. And what you could do here is you can search for, uh, videos. You know, I'm pretty sure you guys use this as well. Uh, let's just look up for, uh, news. Maybe someone who is, uh, let's do this one here. Actually, you can just search random things here. You'll find some pretty interesting videos uh, that you can use here. I'm going to use this one here so I can protect uh, this person's skin tone. Okay. Select that. I'm going to double click on this, go over to color and let's select um, a pretty extreme, a lot filter here. Let's do the cyberpunk here. So you can see it applies differently. When I do this one and now the strength is obviously at hundred percent. Now, let's say I wanted to protect the skin tone here, because if I go to zero here, you can see that this person's skin is obviously not, uh, you know, not this color here. It's not as red as uh, what uh, this is making it seem. So if I increase protect skin tone, you're going to see that the skin goes back to its natural color here. Okay. I like that here. Pretty cool stuff here. So let's say we got to put it at, you know, you can't go to 100% because it's not going to look natural because this is gonna as you can see it's kind of like uh spilling into our preset here on the outside so this you don't want to put it 100 percent. let's do like a reasonable amount maybe over here okay now this looks a lot better than what it looked like before so you're going to have this option with a lot of these uh different uh presets here right you're going to have the same thing here so you can uh, mess with this, uh, which is a pretty cool feature. So that is how you're going to be able to use a uh, LUT presets in Filmora. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to go and hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.